So welcome to Tech and Tesla Sweden. Today I'm helping my friend taking a delivery of a brand new Model Y Performance made in Giga Berlin. This car is produced late November and has some updates that we're going to look into. And mainly uh, it's about the fit and finish and panel gaps. And you clearly see that this car has evolved. Uh, but the biggest difference is actually the parking sensors. We're gonna check those. You see that the, the alignments are nice. And if you compare it to my car, uh, that has a problem on the, on the driver's door. This one is nicely aligned and much better than mine. So the improvements is definitely there. And you see the, the parking sensors. Normally is one here that's missing now and one here, so two at each side. So no parking sensors. Let's test that out. Let's see what happens. Is it going to warn me? Nothing. So obviously the calibration of the car is not done yet. The car is very new. So you see the symbol here means that it's still calibrating. So we need to drive it for a while before the sensor will work because uh, for the moment, nothing happens. I mean, it doesn't give me any signal of whatever. So uh, it doesn't work yet. Stay tuned. So the car is now calibrated. And as you see, <laughs> obviously the, the camera does not warn you about uh, the snow that we have here in front of the car. So it's driving closer, now it should beep and warn, but as it doesn't have any sensors, I have a hard time uh, seeing the cameras warning him about this uh, snow in front of the car since it's too low. It doesn't seem like it gave him a warning. So there's no sensors whatsoever. No radar, no sensor, only cameras. For the moment the sensorless cars doesn't provide you uh, so good support. I can show you on the display. As you see. Well, you can draw one. Yeah, so it doesn't warn you about anything. It's standing in the snow. Now he's trying to back up against my car and see if that gives him a warning. And as you see on the screen, still no warning. So we can obviously clearly crash into my car without getting any warning. So I helped my friend and drove him to to the pickup place uh, in Tesla Stockholm, outside outside Stockholm. Uh, his car was actually produced last week, uh, end of November, compared to my car produced in the end of May. So it's 17 weeks bet between the production uh, days of, of, of my car and his car. And I wanted to check all the changes and differences because uh, they are both made in Giga Berlin, uh, the new German factory. Uh, the production rate seems to the average production rate seems to be around 1,400 cars a week, and they uh, newly stated that they have achieved a production rate of 2,000 cars a week now. Lately, that seems uh, feasible, 
And what are the actual changes? I mean, first off, I checked the back seat. I have been uh, seeing pictures from Chinese cars, uh, Chinese made cars that has a new, like, uh, a bit longer seating in the, in the two uh, seats at the back, uh, the side seats, not in the center. But it's not the case in the German built car. They still have the same back seat. Uh, also, the emergency latch is the same as in my car. There is no emergency latch in, in the door pocket. It's still in the same place as, as usual. And the biggest change is actually when it comes to the ultrasonic sensors. I know that Elon or Tesla recently, I think it was in mid-October, stated that they was removing all the ultrasonic sensors on Model Y and Model 3, first off to save production costs, and also that they were like not needed anymore because you have the cameras and the cameras can f fulfill their place as the sensors. So I tried that uh, and you clearly see that it doesn't give you any graphical warnings or nor, nor any uh, audible chimes or, or sounds to warn you about uh, approximate uh, obstacles. And so, so the car from now on only uses the cameras to sensor and to measure and to illustrate the traffic, obstacles, etc. So autopilot pilot is now only navigating based on the cameras. There is no radar in the front anymore. And from now on, there is no ultrasonic sensors either. Only cameras all around and at the same places as usual. So this means that it doesn't only affect the autopilot driving or full self-driving. It also affects uh, parking, etc. Parking for the moment is not on par with the cars with ultrasonic sensors. I mean, it's a very big difference. The ultrasonic sensors, as you know, already illustrates uh, all the approximate objects, cars on your side, stones or walls at your back, for instance. But uh, for the moment, it doesn't work that way on the, on the newly released cars without sensors, at least not here in Sweden, because we don't have any. This car was running the latest software. There is no newer software available for this specific car. And there was no illustrations at all. You just see the car, as you see at the picture here. Uh, even, even if I stand close to obstacles, it doesn't show you or measure the, the distance to the objects. It, you, you can't even see it on the screen. And it doesn't give you any warnings, not on the screen and not, no, no, nor any chimes either. So. Uh, no support at all. So be aware of that. If you have been taking delivery or are going to take a delivery very soon, be aware of that. You don't have any classical parking sensor behaviors yet. The car will not help you to avoid backing into stuff, for instance. So please use all your cameras and be aware of obstacles so you don't damage someone or your car. So I found a small change when it comes to the side cameras. The lens seems to be the same. The camera seems to be the same, at least what you can see when you look at it. Uh, but the material around the camera, surrounding the camera, is a bit different. I don't know if it's to avoid uh, glare from, uh, from the sun uh, and if it makes it better or if it's just uh, to make the production more efficient or cheaper. Not sure. I apologize for having a dirty car. I actually washed it in the machine in auto wash uh, yesterday, but uh, we have a very bad weather in Sweden for the moment, and we have had a lot of snow melting. And there is an old saying that people keep saying is like, there is no bad weather, only bad clothes, and that's a lie. Uh, there is bad weather, and that's something you only say to the kids, small kids, to fool them and to make them play outside. It doesn't work with grown-ups, at, at, at least not for me. I mean, you can buy good clothes, but the weather is still crappy, and I don't like this type of weather. So, so please don't use that phrase. It's a lie. That's about it. I really hope that Tesla very soon releases software to illustrate and to create chimes and warnings for, for obstacles when parking because people will be pissed off 
uh, when they uh, discover that they don't have any parking sensors because a lot of people probably ordered the car when parking sensors still was a thing and was a part of the car, but not anymore. And that will make people angry if the cameras doesn't provide you the support you need. There will be a couple of accidents, I guess, people backing into stuff uh, without knowing. I think they need to step up the game here when it comes to the software and, uh, and uh, speed up the deliveries of that. So as usual, thank you for tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.